In this video, we're going to explore something quite advanced, which is creating a clickable button here so we can expand data in here and save here. If you expand this here, you can see here we get this, but we can also again reduce it. So you can see here the total value or individual per quarter. And maybe you want to even zoom in specifically on this. You can click on this button and then you zoom in on this. And then you want to maybe zoom out again. There you are. You can close this again and you can see here as well this all together is 15 and if we close this it is again 15 zoom in or expand this you can see your individual every month so let's start to explore how to do this advanced feature in chart.js in this video we're going to answer one of the viewers question which is how to make clickable groups columns in the x scale in chart.js so this is a question that came from one of my other videos about how to color the speedometer needle gauge chart in chart.js, which is quite interesting if you understand the build in here, what you will learn. However, in here, I've received a question from Olive. So a special thank you to Olive for asking this question. And this is what Olive asked. Hello, do you know how to make a button that group columns by adding their values, for example, grouping three months in one? Thank you. Well, there is a way to do it and there is a plugin for it. I never thought to be able to use this plugin, but I think in this case, your question is very suitable for this. So let's start to work on this. So the first thing what I want to do here is get a default code. So what we're going to do is we go to charges3.com, getting started, this specific link here, and you see this here, it is, I have a, uh, website like this, but for some reason my computer is not working correctly or it's giving me some errors. However, if you use Firefox, it works fine. But what we need here is basically this chunk of code here. So I'm going to copy this code. And if you want to understand this code in the JavaScript, please watch this specific video here. So what we're going to do, we're going to paste this in here. And once we paste this in here, I'm going to cut this out and paste that in there. All right. And there we are. So once you paste that, make sure you save the file and then we go here and refresh and there you are. We have now a basic bar chart. So what we're going to do now is we're going to break it down. We make basically, we want a bar chart that shows 12 months. However, two of these quarters will be condensed. So let's start and work on that immediately. To do this, we need a very specific plugin. And this plugin is called the Chart.js Plugin Hierarchical. So um, very important here, we're going to use a very specific link. I'm not able to find a proper CDN and you find one here like this. This is the plugin name. It's called the Chart.js plugin hierarchical, but do not use this one. This is not working. Don't ask me why. So I am able to find the solution by using this specific one here, which is index.umd.min.js. So this is the link we're going to use. Don't use this one, as I repeat, don't use that. Use this one here. Probably it has something here that's more complete. So we're going to copy this. And when, then what I'm going to do in here is we're going to put it in here. And of course, we're going to copy this JavaScript here. Because we want to put in this plugin here. So we're going to cut out this and change this specific item. There we are. So what's very important, make sure you first load the chart.js library before you load this. Why? This is a plugin which is dependent on certain values or variables within this JavaScript library or the chart.js library. So load this one after this has been loaded. If you save this now, go back here, refresh. You can see it's, it does something, it, it loads something behind the scene and then it works again, but then nothing happens yet. So what I want to do this secondly is to make sure it really works is to activate it. You don't have to activate it, but sometimes you might need to. So this is why we're going to activate or register the plugin by just clicking here on comma, type in comma here, we say plugins, and then we put in here brackets and then a string value, and then we save basically the plugin name, which is chart.js-plugin-hierarchical. So once we have this, we can refresh again. There we are. Nothing happens yet. Why? We didn't do anything yet. So what we're going to do now is the most tricky part in here. We're going to start to work on the labels. What we want to do now, we want to break down the labels into a new structure. So pay attention here because this is the, probably the most tricky one and you can go very deep in it with multi levels, but it's really tough the moment you start to have multiple levels. So I'm going to start with just a foundation level here. 12 month 
divided by quarters. And we're going to do quarter se or the second quarter and the third quarter will be divided or condensed and divided while the others will just be uh, expressed in month. All right, what we're going to do now is so we're going to say here labels and I'm going to comment this out, make sure you type this correctly, labels, and then here brackets because we're going to work with an array. In here, we're going to specify the first quarter just in month. So we say January, comma. And if you remember, these are all strings, February, comma, March. So once we did this, we're going to put a comma here, and then we're going to put in here curly braces. These curly braces here will indicate that we have here a special structure. We're going to give it a special label. And this label is basically a command, uh, or, well, it's not really a command, it's basically pinpointing certain parts of it. However, it's directly connected with the uh, what is it, with the hierarchical plugin. Because here, this will be eventually on the scale if it's condensed. If we click on it, it will expand, and then we'll show different text. But if it's condensed, we want to show here second quarter. And then we say a comma, and then this label will have children, meaning that if we click on this specific label, we will change the label text from children from the second quarter into the children's values, which is April, comma, May, comma, June. So once we have this, put in here comma, and then what I want to do here again is here another comma, and then I want to have exactly the same duplication of this, but then for the third quarter so I'm going to say number three and then here we remove the n change to r and here we're going to say July and then we have here uh, August and September so once we did that the final one will be basically similar to this so we simplify that one again then we say here this will be uh, if I'm not mistaken here this will be October comma this will be November comma and December all right, so we have these here. We have now all the labels, including the children or the, the collapsing value and the expanded value shown as well. We put in here comma. If we save this, you probably will see here nothing really happens. It doesn't really understand certain things or it does something, but it doesn't really understand what's going on here. And the reason why it doesn't understand yet is we can change the scale here. We need to change this scale. We have this begin at zero. Well, what we do here for the x scale, we're going to say in the x scale, let's put a comma here, and in the x scale, we're going to say here the type, because basically this specific plugin, the hierarchical plugin here, creates a custom scale. That's what we're really doing here. And then we say here the following, all we want here is the hierarchical, or hierarchical, make sure you spell it correctly, scale all right so once we have this we can save this one and refresh you can see now we start to have something there we are all right so that starts to look nicely but of course it's not 100 percent nice and it's very hard to read we have still a lot of things to do but let's start working on those final items because we're almost done here so basically once we have this we're going to work on what we call the tree which is in the data sets here so i can remove the labels now we have this individual label, which was here, although it's not really here. As you can see, this label here is, has nothing to do with this one here, because this label is the weekly sales here in the data set. And this label is specifically pinpointed on the scale, on the X scale here. So what I'm going to do here is the following. All right, so we're going to say here in the data set, we're going to put in here enter, and then we're going to work on the data. I'm going to move this data away, or you can just put it in here up. But this data here will be changed. What I'm going to say here is, um, well, first of all, we could say here, the item, let me double check here. Oh, sorry, this is not, I realize that this is not really the data. It will be a tree. So, and this here, maybe we can just move this up here. Let's say here, annual sales. And this here is a tree because it's a hierarchical, it works as a tree structure. Basically, this is a tree. When you click on this, you can dive deeper into this. You can go even more deeper, but the more deeper you go, the more complicated it becomes. 
So I don't recommend to go too deep unless you really know what you're doing. So in here, I'm going to remove all of this and we're going to work on the tree right now. So the first thing we're going to do here, the first one is this tree is almost identical here. Basically the tree is the data values. What we're going to do is here now one, let's say here number one, two and three. Very straightforward, nothing fancy here. Now you say here comma. And then what we want to do here is the following. I'm going to put in here enter. And you will see here now basically it's quite similar. Curly braces. And then in here we're going to say the value. So the value is basically similar to this one here is the label. Which would be the value here. So if you want a total sum of this value here. So let's say if our value would be 4, 5 and 6. So the sum of 4, 5 and 6 is 15 if I'm not mistaken. 4 plus 5 plus 6. That's correct. So then we say here comma. And then we say here the children. And the children is basically the individual value of 4, 5 and 6. Colin. Then we say here 4, comma, 5, comma, 6. So once we have this, we can do a next one. We put here another comma. And then we put in here basically the third quarter. Because this here is based on second quarter. This is second quarter uh, data. Data points, maybe, maybe that's the proper data points. That's the right term. So I'm going to copy this now. I'm just going to paste this in here. And you're going to say here the third quarter as well. Third quarter data points. Here, we can say here, what will be this? Well, this will be 7, 8, and 9, and that equals 25. So once we have this, not a comma here, enter, and then we can put in here the last value, which will be the 10, which was 11, and 12 for December. So once we have all of those, then basically we're done here. So what we could do here is basically this we can maintain. If we save this now and refresh, you can see here now it starts to work. If you click on this, we have this here. And you can see here still, we can even zoom in. But maybe you say, well, look at this. This is very hard to read. All right. So let's start to work on doing some adjustments here before we're done. Because right now you can see we're clipping off a certain button here. So let's solve this button issue. In here, we go in the options. And in the options here, we're going to say here layout. And in the layout, we're going to put in here basically a padding. We can control the padding. We can do padding top, bottom, left, and right. Now what we really need here is the padding bottom. I want to extend the padding bottom. And then we say here 25 pixels should be more than sufficient. Comma here. Save this. Refresh. And now you can see this has now extra space. If I open up here my console log, you can see here now we have extended the part here so it will not clip off our item so if you click on the plus sign you can see it just takes some time to load and then we can even zoom in specifically on this and then we are here and you can see the colors are eventually matching with it because the first color is red by default so it recognizes the structure in this then we can click back to zoom out and if you click on this you can see here everything works as well and this is basically how it works if you click on this here you can zoom in again it changes again zoom out Go back here, here you can see your quarter, go back here, and now we have all of these condensed and expanded into our options. So this is basically the way to do it, it's really phenomenal, but make sure you understand the structure of this here. So maybe besides this you might want to go even deeper, for example you want to break it down here and then you can even break down May. So if you're interested to go even more deeper, and that's the more advanced part of this, uh, I will make another video and that video will eventually show up or pop up here on the screen that you can click on once it is uh, uploaded on YouTube as well.